Hey guys, Les here and welcome back to episode 4 in the series Map Painting for the Complete Beginners or Digital Painting. And in this tutorial we're going to go through the Clone Stamp tool and how it's going to be useful and why you should really know about it, especially if you're going to be doing matte painting. And as you can tell on this image, what we're going to be doing is we're going to remove this person and there's nothing going to be there or whatever it was behind him is going to be there let's just say that so let's get started shall we so if I close this and open up my original image that I took in my hometown so let's just say we want to we want to make this city look like there's nothing there are no people there we are going for a style that the world is ending and I want to have all these buildings destroyed and everything but I want to get rid of all the people because obviously no one's alive so let's just say we're going to start off with this person and what we're going to be using is the clone stamp tool so if you click on here and choose the clone stamp tool you guys can also do this with the mouse you don't have to have a tablet it's easier with a tablet but I'm just going to use my mouse for the times uh, for this tutorial and as you can tell if I this is the layer above it that I just done a minute ago so I can demonstrate it to you guys what we're gonna do is just we're gonna use the clone stem tool to paint over him giving him the uh, the illusion that whatever was behind him so what you guys are gonna have to do is sort of imagine what was behind this guy so obviously there's gonna be the pavement there and there's gonna be this paint line there that we're gonna have to paint in and there are all these rails that are a bit difficult obviously if you're doing the speed art or whatsoever then you don't have to go into too much detail you can spend an hour or half an hour on getting rid of this person but if there's going to be a lot of debris here or like stuff that being destroyed and that then I wouldn't worry about too much on uh, going into too much detail so let me just delete that layer and just open up an image where there isn't too much stuff in the background of whatever you want to get rid of so as you can tell with this person the only thing that we got behind them is this road and there's this paint line that's a bit more difficult and these rails which is a bit more difficult so pick pick an image that's not too hard or too complicated but not too simple either so let's just get started uh, open up your image and unlock the layer I've already done that and we're gonna pick our clone stamp tool and basically the way it works is if you hold down alt on your keyboard and click as you can see it see there's a little cross right there and what's going to what's going to happen once you hold down click once you hold down alt sorry and click is basically your brush after you let it go of alt is going to sample as you can tell if i if i just click now as you can tell the brush is sampling of the image where the cross is so whatever is at the cross is going to paint it on my image where my brush is so that's the way it works and obviously you can pick different brushes for this I'm just going to use a soft brush with a low hardness 100% flow and 100% opacity if you guys want to do the same thing and now as you can tell I just painted these lines in here so let's just get rid of that quickly by holding alt click here because I want a sample from here and I'm just going to paint it on there and as you can tell whatever was here painted it onto there now let's just crack on with this person that we want to get, that we want to get rid of and what we're going to first do is just paint the road behind him because that looks like the easiest thing so I'm just going to uh, alt click here so I'm going to sample from here and as you can tell if I pull my mouse over him if I just increase the size a little bit it shows me what is going to sample I can make my brush harder and then it will do it even harder as you can tell we're going to have a hard edge but I want it I wanted to have a soft edge like so and we're just going to start brushing in fairly gently off whatever would be behind this person and obviously it's only the road so just going to start brushing in here I'm not going to spend an hour on doing this because it's only a tutorial you guys can spend a bit longer time on practicing this but as you can tell I'm just painting in off whatever was behind him 
and now for the foot I'm just going to be a bit more careful because there's this little pavement there so it doesn't really matter and then let me just get rid of his foot if I just click on the pavement here and go like so we can roughly get rid of his foot I don't want to spend too much time on this but as you can tell you can't see it so much and now what we're going to do we're going to paint this line in and this pavement because obviously this pavement would continue along so if I just make my brush a bit smaller if you hold down alt and right click and drag you can increase or decrease the size of your brush so I want it about that big and I'm just going to click right here and as you can tell it's going to sample that pavement in so I'm just going to click click again and click again and obviously this line would get a tiny bit smaller because of the perspective but we're not going to worry about it too much for now um, because I don't want it to be very detailed and then again we're going to paint this white line in which is going to join up with that line right there so that's where the pavement would go and now I'm just going to paint along his jacket here because you can still see that a little bit like so now the next thing you're going to get rid of is if I just paint this bit in as well is as you can tell this pavement continues along here again so I'm just going to alt left click here and I'm just going to line this up with the pavement and paint it in so you can get rid of this bit um, of his jacket and this pavement is seems like you're going to curve around but we're not going to worry about it too much and up here it seems like it would be just like <coughs> this pavement would continue along so we're just going to paint that in with this simple white or we can paint it in with this rail as well and then around here this road seems like you're going to curve around so I'm just going to pick up sample a bit I'm just going to sort out that white line like so there we go and then what we're going to do we're just going to grab this road again and we're going to start painting that in to wherever wherever you think that road would be I think it would be around here somewhere if I just make my brush a bit smaller like so and obviously there's this pavement line there as well so we're just gonna pick up that pavement again make my brush a bit bigger and we're gonna start painting that line in so it doesn't seem like we just got rid of that person so like so like so that's where that pavement is and now we got rid of most of our person the only thing I st we still got to get in, which is this hard bit, is obviously these uh, the rail lines and there's this building behind him. So what I normally do is just look at what should be behind him. Obviously there's this rail, there's the blue car, which should be around here as well. There's more of the pavement down here. There's that building up here. So we're going to start off there. If I just zoom in here obviously that building would be about roughly about here so I'm just going to sample from there make my brush a bit smaller and I'm going to start painting it in obviously there's this, there's this line here and the building would continue along here so I'm just going to start and there's this poster here that I'm going to paint in like so and I'll, I think this must be a bus stop of some sort is this white post right here that we're going to paint in like so and as you can tell we've already got rid of half of his head so the next thing we're going to do is sort out this car so obviously the car would be about here so if I just paint in a bit more of this building we'll worry about this um, we'll worry about this rail in a bit not yet so I'm just going to guess that it, it should be I don't even know what colour maybe that colour so I'm just going to start sampling in that but it's it's not that 
it's not that important because if you zoom out look that's really far away so no one's going to pay attention to that I mean this is our image look you can't even you can't even see that person even if you don't do that and that's the reason why I'm saying that if you didn't pay attention to that person would you notice that, that that's there no you wouldn't you know so it depends how much detail you want to put in there and again with this if this is going to be my image like this with this I can be very loose so I can just go in grab this rail pull in a line like that pull in a line like that and from here can be very loose because your eye is not going to pick it up unless you pay attention to it but if you want it to be very detailed in that then you can give it all the detail you like you can spend an hour on this or you can spend half an hour on this or you can spend you know two minutes on this or ten minutes on this depending on how much time you have so I'm just going to paint in this rail properly so I'm going to sample that and I'm just going to click make it all nice and detailed if I wanted to that rail line would come down here that post and about here like so and there's going to be this pavement all the way down here like so and I just want to give it another post in the middle in a minute after I saw this out I'm just going to pick up my brush make it a bit smaller pick a black color soft and I'm just going to make this this black because it was kind of annoying me that I couldn't pick it get my clone stamp and like so and I'm just going to sample this post and pop one in here, pop one in here pick that pulse, pop in there and look we got rid of it obviously this is the bit where we didn't go into too much detail so we'll just do that now, sort out that post that bar, not even post, I don't know why I call it post it doesn't really matter I guess you still still understood what I was saying like so and we got rid of our person there we go as you can tell, you can spend a bit more time on the road, making it look a bit more, a bit more detailed. But if you zoom out and if you show this, show this picture to your mum or whoever you know, right? Show it to them and see if, ask them if they can tell if there's anything weird going on. And if they say no, then you've done a good job. If they notice that, oh, this looks a bit very blurry, there must have been something happening. But I. If you've done as good a job as I did, which is not very difficult because I hardly spend any time on this, then, you know, no one's going to notice unless they pay attention to it or look at your image for an hour. And we can use this exact same technique for every other, for every single person on this image or every single object, as long as whatever is behind it is not too complicated. But at the end of the day, you can get rid of anything with the clone stem tool. So this is it for this tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to me if you haven't already and you're looking forward to this series and I'll see you guys later.